very exciting ASCO GU 2022 this year in San Francisco with many, many excellent uh, papers. Um, three of the papers that I think are, are critically important to summarize are Propel, looking at the combination of Olaparib plus Abiraterone in patients with first-line MCRPC. Uh, magnitude, again, Niraparib in combination with Abiraterone in patients with first-line MCRPC. And importantly, looking at a triplet combination of uh, docetaxel, ADT, and uh, darolutamide in patients in first-line MHSPC. Three practice-changing trials. Propel was a randomized phase three study looking at patients receiving first-line MCRPC to address the unmet need of doing better in the first-line therapy. So Propel randomized patients who were first-line MCRPC could have received docetaxel in the hormone-sensitive setting and could have multiple uh, visceral metastases and could have pain. We took 800 patients and we randomized one-to-one, -one, so almost 400 in each arm, getting full-dose abiraterone and full-dose olaparib. Uh, versus abiraterone and placebo with a primary endpoint of radiographic progression-free survival or death. And so what we found in the primary endpoint was that radiographic progression-free survival was very significantly improved by a 34% reduction in the risk of progression or death. This improvement of 34% reduction in the risk of progression turned out to be 8.2 months improvement over abiraterone alone, which is considered the standard of care. And this is the first time we see improvements in RPFS that go beyond uh, two years in patients uh, with MCRPC. When we looked at subgroups, every subgroup was benefiting from the combination over abiraterone alone. Um, so whether they had visceral metastases, had received docetaxel in the, chemo in the hormone sensitive setting, or especially if patients were har harboring HRR mutations or not. 70% of patients did not harbor mutations, 28% of patients did harbor mutations, and about 2% of patients, we had no uh, uh, information on mutations. Looking at uh, adverse events, we did not see additional adverse events in the combination of olaparib plus abiraterone versus abiraterone alone. And in terms of quality of life, there was no deterioration in quality of life with the combination over abiraterone alone. So clearly we need to look forward that this might be the first combination therapy to improve outcome in patients with first-line MCRPC that are unfortunately destined to progress quickly and eventually die of prostate cancer. Magnitude was um, uh, an attempt to improve on first-line MCRPC in patients um, that um, were all included, but were uh, looked for based on HRR mutations. So patients had to have a mutational status determined before coming into the study, and then they were uh, randomized to either niraparib at reduced dose of 200 milligrams per day, plus abiraterone at full dose, um, versus abiraterone and placebo but patients were stratified according to mutational status. Um, what the study found uh, very briefly is that patients that benefited harbored HRR mutations, and it was mainly through BRCA mutations that patients were getting a significant benefit with an improvement in progression-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.53. Unfortunately, uh, the study was stopped for patients who did not harbor mutations since there was a futility analysis that showed that continuing was not uh, of any benefit. Uh, and so for at least the lower dose niraparib plus abiraterone, it looks like patients who are most likely to benefit need to harbor uh, BRCA mutations. So whether dosing makes a difference, whether timing makes a difference, whether the drugs, PARP inhibitors, make a difference in non BRCA mutated patients is something that still needs to be explored and may explain some of the differences between magnitude and propel, uh, which were two very important studies uh, presented back to back at ASCO GU. Aracense is a phase three study randomized uh, for patients in MHSPC or metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. Uh, who are getting their first-line treatment, and patients uh, either uh, had to be willing to take docetaxel or there was an indication for docetaxel since the standard of care arm was ADT plus docetaxel. 
con compared to ADT plus darolutamide plus docetaxel. Since we have data su suggesting that either docetaxel or a novel hormonal therapy will improve outcome in patients with first-line treatment for MHSBC. So almost 1,400 patients, randomized one-to-one, -one, almost 700 patients in each arm, and the, the primary endpoint was overall survival. The results showed that there was about a 32% reduction in the risk of death by using darolutamide upfront in combination with docetaxel. The other endpoints were all uh, in favor of the triplet therapy, whether patients presented with upfront metastatic disease or progressed from non-metastatic disease to metastatic hormone sensitive disease, uh, time to uh, skeletal events were improved with the triplet and very reassuringly, quality of life was maintained, but importantly, there was no added adverse event by adding darolutamide to docetaxel, which I think is one of the main factors um, that prevents us from combining therapies in prostate cancer. So uh, truly a practice changing trial that uh, sets the standard now that triplet therapy in patients who are able to get docetaxel will probably become the standard of care for the future. Mm -hmm.